Are you a woman who wants to learn to have better, stronger, more satisfying clitoral orgasms? Or are you a man who would like to learn all there is to know about female clitoral orgasms? In either case, you're in the right place, so stay till the end to get my very special and highly effective clit stroking technique. My name is Helena Nista and I make videos that help you have the best sex of your life and today we're chatting about the best ways to give your partner or to yourself a clitoral orgasm. First of all, let's get something straight. The clitoris is much more than the little button you see between hair or your own, if you're a woman, legs. That external part that you can see and touch is what's called the glands of the clitoris. And above it, just below the skin, you can also feel the clitoral shaft. At the other end of the shaft, there are clitoral legs that are shaped like a wishbone and that sit on either side of the vaginal canal. Every clitoris is a little different and each one is unique. This is why it's impossible to satisfy every woman with the same technique and stroke. We're simply like snowflakes and you need to get to know your own or your partner's clit intimately in order to pleasure it well. This is why for all the ladies out there, masturbation is something that you should explore and play with regularly. Not only it's fun and so, so pleasurable, but it will teach you about your body and your clit. And understanding your own body is a must when it comes to having good, satisfying orgasms. Not only it means that you can pleasure yourself to the moon and back, but you can also guide your partner to touch, lick and caress you just how you like it, instead of fumbling around with it. When it comes to getting to any sort of orgasm, warm-up is always crucial. And the longer the warm-up and stimulation lasts, the more satisfying the orgasm will be. So bear that in mind if you're trying to just get there quickly. The clitoral glands is extremely sensitive, packing up to 8,000 nerve endings on its fairly small surface. This is why the clit is usually covered with a piece of skin called clitoral hood. The clit can be stroked and stimulated through the hood. But if even that's a bit too sensitive at first, stroking the surrounding area can be a wonderful way to warm her up. I have a separate video where I share a range of specific pussy strokes here. Once the lady is feeling aroused and the clit is more open to touch, it's time for some clit fun. Try stimulating the clitoris through the hood first, meaning don't pull it back, but allow it to stay in place while you're stroking the clit. After a while, the clitoral glands should be ready for more direct touch. As a general rule, always err on the side of caution. It's better to touch too lightly than to be too harsh. Any pain or discomfort will reduce her arousal and might even kill it completely. It's a good idea to also stretch the labia to the sides, exposing more of the skin that is usually tucked away within the folds of the outer and inner lips. Next, explore what I call the clit clock. Imagine that the clitoris is a face of a clock with 12 o'clock on top and 6 o'clock on the bottom and with all the other o'clocks around. Now gently stroke, caress and massage each o'clock on yourself or your partner, exploring what it feels like to touch the clit in different spots. Many people think that they can only stroke the entire clit, which will produce one particular kind of sensation. But the clit is much more rich and complicated than that. Majority of women report that 2 o'clock, her upper left quadrant, is a particularly yummy spot. Another fun way to play with the clit is to draw different shapes or letters on it. Or to tap it. Or to tease it by allowing your finger or fingers to touch it and then move away and wander around it before finally touching it again, etc. Make sure to also vary the pressure and speed of your touch. There is no rush here, so give yourself plenty of time to have some quality exploration of the clit. Edging can be also a delightful thing to do. When you edge, you bring yourself or your partner up to the edge of orgasm and then you back away before going up to the edge of orgasm again, etc. I have a full video on this topic here. And now it's time for my very special tip. Once you or your partner is ready to go all the way to the orgasm, remember that the clit likes short, fast, yet gentle strokes. Imagine that you're stroking the lid of your eye. That's the pressure you should be using here. And obviously check in with your lady about this because her snowflake might require a little firmer or lighter pressure than the one you're using. But here, consistency is key. The length of the stroke should be no more than one centimeter and the speed should be quite fast. Keep going until she reaches the state of sweet orgasmic release. Now, some women struggle to get over the edge of orgasm. They can get aroused and feel pleasure, but can at times struggle to quite get there. 
In such cases, it's usually helpful to take the goal of orgasm off the table. The pressure of needing to get there can be a sure mood killer, so remember that it's perfectly okay if the orgasm does not happen. It's better here to just focus on the pleasure and enjoy the process instead of trying to push the body to achieve a particular outcome like a climax. But what can also really help here is a vibrator. Many women report that they can come with a vibrator much more easily than without it. So don't be shy and keep a vibrating toy handy. Sex toys are a wonderful way to add to and to enrich your sex life. And I have a full video on the best ways to use a vibrator here. Other things that can get in the way of reaching a clitoral orgasm are number one, past sexual trauma, which should be addressed with a qualified professional. I speak to a lot of women who have experienced a level of sexual abuse or shaming in the past. This will keep negatively affecting your sex life until it's faced and healed. Number two, your relationship with your partner. If the clitoral stimulation is provided by a partner, any issues in your emotional connection can also put a damper on the woman's orgasmic ability. Any sense of resentment, tension or upset between lovers means that the woman won't feel sufficiently relaxed, open and safe to actually reach an orgasm. So resolve any issues first, talk things through or if that fails, see a couple's therapist. After all, there's nothing quite like the romantic, sexual, intimate relationship between lovers. And it's worth caring for. And not only so that those clitoral orgasms can happen. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that it served you powerfully. If it did, please leave me a like and a comment. What did you learn about the clitoris today? Or maybe there's anything else you'd like to add here. And ladies, if you'd like to learn even more about growing, expanding and cultivating your full orgasmic potential, check out my complete online course, Orgasmic Empowerment. It's a complete step-by-step -step program to help you take control of your orgasmic power and to reach a variety of different types of orgasms. If you'd like to become a multi-orgasmic woman and discover the joy of living an orgasmic life, my course Orgasmic Empowerment is for you. I've linked it in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and for all the likes and comments. I can't wait to read what you have to say about clitoral orgasms. <laughs> See you next time.